What's good with y'all, man? It's JVK Base. I am back with another WWE 2K23 video. So I told you guys what I was going to do after I completed uh, the lock, my rise. So we're going to do some dream matches. You guys see the difficulties on Legend, the weight detection, it's simulation, and I'm not controlling this. So this is this is all the AI. So we're going to do myself, Tyson Future versus Macho Man, Randy Savage. Rest in peace, Macho Man. He's one of my favorite wrestlers ever. He's one of the most charismatic had probably had the best elbow drop ever so let's go ahead and get to this gameplay so this so this is what i've been doing man i, I say you know what i'm gonna go ahead I, I was gonna do dream matches against my favorite superstars as my wrestler so this year for baw we're doing 90 overall so i think i think my my overall is so about like the way i put my attributes up is so balanced Cause I can I could do I could do striking I could do punches I could do grapples and I could jump off the rope and I have good durability and my pin escape is extremely high. One, Randy Savage kicks out, but um Macho Man Randy Savage this dude is one of a kind man it just it just sad how he passed away in 2011. Cause honestly if he was still here he would still be like the same charismatic person as Tyson Future jumps over the rope, but. Um, Randy Savage. When I when I was a little kid, I I, I really didn't watch like a lot of, like WWF. I watched like a lot of WWE because I was I was watching like the ruthless aggression era. Like so, I basically started wrestling like I think in two thousand one or two thousand two, and I remember seeing um, I remember seeing Booker T. So people don't know Booker T is actually my favorite wrestler of all time, which I'm gonna do a dream match with him eventually. But we're, we're wrestling against Macho Man Randy Savage. But then when I saw this guy dressed up like in like in all these colors and stuff, and always and like he's always with like a beautiful woman. Well, his wife Miss Elizabeth, rest in peace to her. She was I heard she was a sweetheart in the wrestling industry. But Randy Savage, that man was so over. Like that man, that man could talk. Every time he said, "Oh yeah," like when you hear that, you know somebody's in trouble. And he comes from a legendary uh, Pofo family. I think I think I said it right. If if I'm not, correct me in the comments. But then like his interest music was literally like the high school graduation music. So it was like you got a tough guy that's wearing all these flamboyant colors. But the dude the dude actually meant what he said. Like he was macho, he was savage, like you know, like the, the fans loved him and everything. Oh my god, I was a nasty pile driver. But I kept right back up with a nice future pounce. But the fans loved him. And, and they ride behind him because he was a fan favorite early. And then one thing about Randy Savage, he was a heavyweight, but he was a heavyweight high flyer. Like, he could take it to the rope, as as, as, as we always seen. He always does, like, a double axe handle. He does, like, that, that beautiful, gorgeous elbow drop. Like, I don't, I don't think no one has a better elbow drop than a macho man himself. Like... When I was doing pro wrestling training, I I, I never did a, a top rope elbow drop, which I could have had so many times. But seeing him do it, like it look, it looks beautiful. Like every single every single clip I see Randy do that elbow drop, he he never hurts his opponent. He lands just right, and I don't think he ever botched the elbow drop ever. Like, cause that man that man like like he he, he was honestly like ahead of his time. Honestly, like. The stuff he was doing, the way he was dressing, the way he was talking, nobody was doing that back then. Even though the 80s and 90s, everybody was larger than life. But Macho Man Randy Savage, if he was around currently, he would really, really be over like he was back in WWF and WCW. As Tyson Future showing off the athleticism. Um, It's been a, a, a pretty cool match so far. You guys saw You guys see my, uh, my attire. It says Macho Wave because I call myself the wavy one. Shout out to Max B. Who should be free at any time. But I love giving tributes to other wrestlers. You know, like in like in pro wrestling, you love giving tributes like to the people that's before you because you want to idolize your idols and you want to replicate them and stuff. As I had nice looking Will Burrow and Neck Breaker on the Macho Man himself. But I just wonder what would Macho Man's role be if he was still alive? Would he still be in WWE? Would he be like an AEW? Would he be an impact? We'll never know, man, unfortunately. Oh man, hit him with a nice looking spirit bomb. I can hit him with a future kick, but he rolling out the ring. Uh oh, Tyson Future trying to chase out the Macho Man. Uh oh. See, I don't know why the AI didn't grab him right there, but you guys literally saw this is on Legend. I'm not controlling this, so I don't know who's going to win the match. 
because I'm a 90 overall. He's an 89, which I think Randy Savage should be higher than an 89 because Randy Savage held a WWF championship and he held a WCW title. But you know how, how they be disrespecting legends on this game, which is kind of messed up. But, you know, it is what it is. But I didn't know that Randy Savage was Italian, though. Know? Like, that's pretty cool. Like, that's why, that's why he has so much swagger, so much intensity, because his genetics allow him to do that. And then I, I heard he was a real nice guy. I heard he was a real, real, real nice guy. Like, he was humble. He was everything that he was. He was macho, but he was cool. Like, that's the thing. And then he was a part of the NWO. Like, he's a part of a lot of history in wrestling. Like, that's the thing about the Hogan's, the, the Steiner's, the Nash, or Kevin Nash, uh, Scott Hall, all those guys. Those guys is basically the origins of professional wrestling. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have no Bullet Club. We wouldn't be no DX. Shout out to Ric Flair for, for, for making, like, the four horsemen. It wasn't for those guys. We wouldn't have none of them. Oh, my goodness. Hit me with a pile driver outside the ring. I'm going to feel that, but I get back up like it's nothing because I'm durable. See, Randy Savage is like, he probably like, where this kid even from? I am Tyson Future. So, you know, I had to work, I had to work some strings a little bit. If I get it with a Future kick, I can definitely win this match because I got I almost have two finishes. Wait for him to get back in. Oh, they're going to punches. Uh-oh. The combinations. Bow. If I do another kick, it's over for Randy. Nice kick out by Randy Savage. And shout out to my brother for these amazing settings, too. If it weren't for these settings, this amazing match will not be happening right now. Tyson Future showing off the athleticism with a standing moonsault. Yo, if I hit him with one, I got two finishes. If I hit him with one, it's over with. Future knee. Come on, pick him up. I'll try to see what I'm doing. Come on, Future kick. Future Keat. That should be it right there for the legend right there. Now I have one more for him. Two. Oh, good kick out. That's a very good kick out. One more. Hit him with one more. Let's go home. Let's go home. Future Keat. I'm sorry, Randy. I love you, my guy. One. Two. He kicked out again. Wow. That boy got some durability. That's what happens when you have good settings, you know. Here we go. Future drop. If I get another signature and get another finisher, it's over. Oh, look at them punches. He ain't ready for that. That's that more thigh background jujitsu. One, two. So yeah, Randy Savage is definitely in my top ten for professional wrestling. Like I love, I love everything he did for the sport, bro. Like without him, a, a, a lot of these guys wouldn't be as charismatic as they are now. You know. Because a lot of these dudes don't have no character. But Randy Savage had a lot of character when he was wrestling. I give him credit to that. Like, he knew how to work the crowd. He knew how to work people. He can he could pretty much work anybody his size or bigger. Like, that's how good of a wrestler he was. Like, he was always doing something spectacular in the ring. And then you never... I don't think I ever saw him, like, in a bad match ever. And then one thing about him, he, he loved putting people over. He was, he was fair with people. He was honest with people. He didn't have like a like his ego his ego was big, but he wasn't he wasn't cocky like Hogan was. Like he actually gave people the spotlight. He didn't care if he won or lose because he was so established. He can win a match and lose and he'll be alright because it wouldn't affect his uh his uh his booking or anything. Yo, he reversed a lot of moves right now for being damaged. I know that. But yeah, uh, these dream matches, let me know if you guys are rocking with these matches. I'm definitely going to do a lot more. If I can get a reversal right here, I'll be straight. Oh, is he going for a pile driver? Mmm. He might try to hit me with, with this elbow drop, but I, I can I can definitely reverse something for sure. It's like some fish don't want to reverse anything. Nice atomic drop by the legend himself. See, that's one thing about my brother's settings. The matches are always back and forth. Like, you might be getting your, your ass whooped, but then you can come back. You feel me? Like, I, I love seeing these practice matches. These practice matches is, is cool as hell to do because you can fight against people that you grew up in and idolized, you know? Oh, he would grab me right there. Going off the ropes. Uh-oh. Let's tie some feet. Yo, he's he, he been grabbing me every time. Now. So I, I can't get no offense. Oh, is, is he going for the elbow drop? Hey, I just want to see him hit it. I want to see him hit the elbow drop. I want to see him hit it. I want to see him hit it. 
Oh, he hit me with it. Come on, kick out, future. One, two. Oh, that was a clutch kick out. This match right here about to be a five stars. If I win or lose, it's all good because I'm putting a five-star performance against one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, man. Man, Macho Man was so cool. Oh, yeah, get you a Slim Jim. <laughs> he always wear them shades like the like the... Like the little tassels on his body and stuff. I, I noticed a lot a lot of those wrestlers in the eighties, they was very colorful. Like they was larger than life characters. Like it was so cool. Like I, I wish I was born around that time so I could see how pro wrestling was. If I get my finishing move ahead on Randy, it'll be over, man. But this this but this is a beautiful match, right? This this, this is what a match supposed to look like with good settings, you know. Yo, we finna be at a seven count. I didn't with two uh go to the futures. If I throw him back in the ring, I can win this. Man, Tyson Future on the run right now. And that boy stunned. Come on, we at eight count, bro. Drag him in the ring. I don't know why Tyson Future put him. Am I'ma win by count out? Is that how I'ma win, bro? By count out? Are you serious? Oh, I won by count out, bro. Oh, my God. I didn't want to win like that, bro. I didn't want to win like that against Randy Savage, bro. But, you know, it is what it is. I started putting damage on him. Hope you guys enjoyed this dream match. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay fight for more content. Squad up. Out. Let's get it. Wavy.